Herkese merhaba. Hepiniz hoş geldiniz. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the past position diye in Turkish. Hadi başlayalım. Evet. These are the definitions of diye on sözlük.gov.tr. This is the Turkish language authority and this is their website. You can use this dictionary, but only in Turkish. If you check it out, you will notice that they call this for zaf. Zaf means adverb, so they define it as an adverb. Well, it can be just an adverb in Turkish. When we try to find an equivalence, we do not find only adverbs in English. I'm going to show you some examples and you're going to understand what I mean. Diyerek, which means by saying. It looks like die, right? Yeah, because they are brothers. But die is an old formation, so he is the elder one. Herhangi bir yargıya vararak, by making any judgment. And niteleyerek, which means by describing, by qualifying. In order to understand how to use this beautiful word, you need to understand the Turkish mindset, the way we interpret the world around us. We might be saying things out loud, but we make our judgment with our inner voice. Well, we all think with our inner voices, but we took it to another level. And I'm going to explain you. And the third one is also about the sound humans and things may. Confused already? I know, that's the whole point. Just kidding. Gitme diye arkamdan ağladı. Ağladı, he or she cried, arkamdan, like behind my back, diye, saying, don't go. Tamam mı? Hayır, diye cevap verdi. Cevap verdi, answered, replied. Saying no. No, he replied. He replied. He answered saying no. Gol diye bağırdılar. Bağırmak, to yell, to shout. Goal, they exclaimed. Bağırdılar. They yelled, saying goal. But we say goal. Goal diye bağırdılar. Another equivalence is as, but this indicates some disappointment. For example, usually for as, it's used olarak. But here, as I said, there is disappointment. So we use diye. Biz seni mühendis diye işe aldık. We hired you as engineer. It could have been biz seni mühendis olarak işe aldık. Like we hired you as an engineer. But there is a disappointment. I guess with his work. They are not pleased with his work. So they say biz seni mühendis diye işe aldık. Let me explain where the Turkish mindset comes in. Diye. It's like we hired this guy thinking he's an engineer. We hired this guy saying to ourselves... He's an engineer. İkinci örnek, the second example. Bunu sana hediye diye mi almışım? Have I bought this to you as a gift? I'm surprised. I disappointed myself with my own taste. Let's check the Turkish mindset. Have I bought this to you thinking or Saying to myself, this is a gift. Çoğu insan hemşirelik kadın işi diye düşünüyor. Most people think of nursing as a woman occupation. Let's check the Turkish mindset. Most people think to themselves, nursing is Women occupation. Diye used for in case. Yağmur yağabilir diye şemsiyemi yanıma aldım. I took my umbrella with me, literally to my side, in case 
it might rain. Let's check the Turkish mindset. I took my umbrella with me thinking or saying to myself, hmm, yağmur yağabilir, it might rain. İzmir sıcak olur diye güneş kremi aldım. I took or I bought sun cream in case İzmir would be hot. I bought sun cream saying to myself hmm, İzmir would be hot. Ne olur ne olmaz diye pasaportumu çantama koydum. I put my passport to my bag, literally, just in case. This expression, no olur no olmaz diye, means just in case. It can also be translated like this, no olur no olmaz, like we never know. So let's examine again. I put my passport into my bag, saying to myself, thinking, hmm, we never know. Diye used for because. Hiç param yok diye ağladım. I cried because I don't have any money. Sen yoktun diye eve döndüm. I returned to home because you were not there. It looks like you didn't exist but it means you were not there. Annem evde yok diye babaanneme gittim. I went to my grandma because my mom is not at home. Tamam mı? Diye used for that. Çok trafik olmayacak diye düşünürsek saat 10 gibi oradayım. I'm there like 10 o'clock. If we think that there will not be much traffic jam. I'm there, I will be there like 10 o'clock if we think saying to ourselves there will not be so much traffic jam. Oranın köftesi meşhur diye hatırlıyorum. Let's translate literally. I remember that that place's meatball is famous. It can also work like as far as I remember. Seni bir daha göremeyeceğim diye korktum. Korktum. I got scared or I was afraid that I will never be able to see you again. I was afraid saying to myself I will never be able to see you again. Diye used for so that, in order that. Sen gelme diye kapıyı kapattım. I close the door so that you don't come. I close the door saying to myself, thinking you don't come. Unutmayayım diye not alıyorum. Not alıyorum. I take notes so that I shall not forget. Diye as an adjective. Called, named. Avrupa'da Beko diye bir Türk markası var. There is... A Turkish brand called Beko in Europe. Pardon, burada Ali diye biri oturuyor mu acaba? Acaba is like I wonder. It adds some politeness to the question, especially when you talk to strangers. Pardon, excuse me. Burada Ali diye biri oturuyor mu acaba? Is someone called Ali residing here? Hayır, burada Ali diye biri yok. Diye to describe a noise. Güm diye bir ses duydum. Duydum, I heard. Bir ses, a sound, a noise. Güm. Like güm. Or maybe we, deep inside we think that that noise is saying something. If we approach like that, I heard a noise saying güm. Like bam. Çat diye kırıldı. It was broken like chat, like snap. Kitap pat diye yere düştü. Kitap, the book, 
fell to the ground like pot describing in a noise saying pot doesn't say anything but who knows diye in expressions hayalet diye bir şey yok diye bir şey yok this is the equivalence of there is no such thing as ghosts gitmedi diye biliyorum this one is like that i know that he didn't go or as far as i know he didn't go we use this a lot diye bilmek like no as blah blah no that blah blah siz diye hitap etmek hitap etmek to address someone siz like you but plural way like tu and vu in french şaka olsun diye for loves adalet yerini bulsun diye as a mere form bil diye söylüyorum just so you know If you want the PDF that I worked on, please comment and just let me know. İzlediğiniz için çok teşekkür ederim. Görüşmek üzere.